You're listening to the Forbidden Brazilian Portuguese podcast, episode number one. Olá pessoal, I'm Fernando and welcome to the very first podcast episode of Forbidden Brazilian Portuguese. I wanted to record this first episode as a kind of introduction to this podcast series, explaining a bit about how the idea of this podcast came about, and more importantly, what I'm going to be talking about, so that you know exactly what to expect from it. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. I was born and raised in Porto Alegre, the capital of the Rio Grande do Sul state in the south of Brazil. And after I graduated from university, I moved to England where I did my teacher training courses and obtained my translation and interpreting credentials by the Institute of Linguists. So I've been teaching Brazilian Portuguese for about 20 years now. Some of you might already know me from my website, fromwithbrazilianportuguese.com. And I also have a YouTube channel with weekly videos for people who are learning the language. I run the Fun with Brazilian Portuguese Academy, or FWBP Academy for short, and I teach online lessons on a one-to-one -one basis as well. So that was my brief introduction. Now let's talk about Forbidden Brazilian Portuguese. I've been thinking for quite a while now about starting a podcast to add to the resources that I already have that are available to people who want to learn Brazilian Portuguese. I consider the things that I could focus on, like grammar, everyday expressions, useful phrases, Portuguese for travel. And while these topics are great, they are the ones that I already cover in my free YouTube videos, blog posts, and the courses that I offer as part of the FWBP Academy. And there's also the fact that there are already some other Brazilian Portuguese podcasts that cover these same topics. And I wanted to do something a little bit different. It then occurred to me that one area of vocabulary that I get asked to teach from time to time by my students is Portuguese swear words, so that they can amuse their friends or their Brazilian partners. The type of vocabulary that is never really taught in conventional course books. While I don't have a problem teaching this type of vocabulary, I wasn't so sure if it would be a good topic for a podcast. I didn't know if people would be interested, if there was enough material to cover in a podcast series, or if it would be useful to students in any way. I know that learning taboo words in a foreign language can be amusing, but how useful is it? I then started thinking about when I was learning English back in Brazil in my school days. I too was curious to learn English swear words and would often ask my teachers to include them in their lessons, not so much to actually use them myself, but to understand more of what actors would say in English-speaking films and TV series. Today, I don't swear that much in English or Portuguese. Of course I do, but I would say a healthy amount. But one thing is for sure, swearing is part of language. Now, going back to my learning of English, my English is not perfect, but I am fluent now to know how to swear in English. I know which words are acceptable in certain contexts and which aren't. And for me, teaching swear words is not about teaching random bad words. You need to learn the norms, the rules, the different scenarios when swearing is acceptable, and how well or little you need to know someone before you can start insulting them, either for real, but most likely in a jokey, friendly way. So let's go back to my initial doubts about starting this kind of podcast. I said I wasn't sure if people would have any interest in it. But judging by the requests that I get from my students, yes, there is a fair amount of interest. But time will tell if this podcast will be popular or not. Hopefully it will be. The second doubt I had was whether there was enough content of this type to cover in a podcast series. So I sat down and started to think about what I would actually teach. And I realized that, yes, there is enough material. So this is what you can expect funny insults, taboo words, sexual terms, 
swear words, bodily functions, etc. from a social and linguistic perspective. In other words, when they are socially acceptable, the various degrees of rudeness and, in some cases, a bit about their origin as well. And the third thing I wasn't sure about was how useful these words and expressions would be. So yes, I do think they're useful in the practical sense of you using some of them in day-to-day -day conversation. They would also help you understand Brazilian films and videos a bit better. I'll be giving plenty of examples on how to use these words, how they actually fit in sentences, so that you will also be learning general Brazilian grammar and sentence structures as well. And of course, you would also be practicing pronunciation. And you know what? Words that are considered bad or taboo can be fun as well. And in my teaching, I always try to bring an element of fun to it. For me, personally, when I'm learning a language, I need to have fun with it as well. It's part of it. Otherwise, what's the point? So now, there are two things that I want to be very clear about. Number one, I know it's obvious, but it needs to be said. There will be strong language in this podcast. So if you are easily offended by strong language, either in English or Portuguese, do not listen to this podcast. The second thing I want to be very clear about is this. I will, as I said, try to explain to the best of my ability when it's okay to use certain words and when it's not. However, I would strongly recommend that you are extremely careful when you're actually using some of the words that I'll be teaching you. I would definitely recommend that you don't use them with strangers. Trying them out with Brazilian partners, family or friends, though, is a different story. I would, however, still recommend some caution, but of course it's up to you to judge how receptive your friends might be when you're trying some of these more strong words with them. So that's it for me now. I hope you enjoy this introductory episode of Forbidden Portuguese. If you like the idea of this podcast, please subscribe to it on YouTube, Stitcher or whatever other platform you use to subscribe to podcasts. If you'd like to leave a comment or any questions, you can use the podcast area of my website, funwithbrazilianportuguese.com. I'll catch you again on the next proper episode of Forbidden Brazilian Portuguese. Muito obrigado. Até mais.